All right, so I got a question uh, from a viewer who goes by the name of I Am Accountable. Um, <clears throat> he says, uh, you have said in the past that you get a table for you and Devin. In other words, you know, uh, don't take your woman to the bar or the club or whatever. He says, believe me, that makes sense. But how do you handle a situation when a guy is bold enough to walk up to the table and begins to hit on your date? Uh, I get that you must stay in control and not blow up like a volcano, but by, but at the same time, but at the same time, um, you don't want to cower to another man who is disrespecting you. He says, presently, I'm not with anyone. He says, presently, I'm not with anyone. My iPad's acting up here. Um, I am single with no prospects. I'm focused on myself with improving finances. I date on occasion, but I have bigger things to deal with. Thanks. All the best to you. Um, <clears throat> what he is talking about is in the past, um, <clears throat> on my show, I've talked about the difference between being insecure and being territorial. Being jealous and insecure is reactive. Being uh, being territorial is proactive. For example, the bar scenario is that if you and your girl are at the bar and you guys are yucking it up, having a good time, and you go off to use the bathroom, you come back, there's some dude chatting up your girl. Being reactive would be putting your arm around your girl. Hey, you know, by the way, she's with me. The guy's like, all right, man, no, that meant no disrespect. And then as soon as you, as soon as he leaves, you're like, yo, what the hell? Like, how could you be talking to him with me in the bathroom? Blah, 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 blah. That's being insecure because that's being reactive. Being proactive is you never take your girl to the bar in the first place. If she absolutely must drink, then you guys get a table and you guys can, you guys can order your, your, your drinks to your table. So that's what he's talking about. Now, he asked me, what do, what do you do if a guy is bold enough to walk up and hit on your date? Guys, that almost never happens. Dudes, don't just walk up and start hitting on your girl with you right there. The only way a man would ever hit on a girl while they're in front of you, and there are scenarios, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, is if they don't realize that you guys are together. Most men are respectful of other men's women, unless you don't look like, unless you don't, unless you don't look like you're not really much of a man. Um, the reason why the dude is hitting on your girl, uh, I am accountable, is because you you look like you won't do anything about it, right? You don't really look like someone who is a threat. Let me look at the second part of this question. Um, in other words, you don't come off as masculine, right? You don't, even if you had trace amounts of masculinity, dudes don't just walk up and talk to your girl for absolutely no reason. The only reason they would do that is if you don't really look like you're man enough to say or do anything about it. Um, the second thing is, is that's not on the man. That's on your girl. If your girl allows other men to hit on her in front of you, dude, number one, you got the wrong girl. Number two, you're, you are simply not man enough. Let me give you an analogy in terms of the reason why um, guys ask the question, hey, what if a guy comes and hits on you, you know, hits on your girl right there in front of you? Because again, I've never been in that situation. Like I have never, ever been in a situation where another man has hit on a has hit on the girl that I'm with and they know that the girl is with me. I've never ever had that situation. I'm 6'1", 230 something pounds, and I guess maybe my stature has a lot to do with it. But by the same token, if you find yourself having that problem a lot, like, dude, everybody hits on my girl, that's a you problem, my friend. But let me give you an analogy here. If I were a burglar, right? If I were a burglar and I was in a neighborhood and I was casing I was casing certain homes to rob. The house that I want to rob is going to be the house that puts up the least resistance, right? A house without a fence, maybe. A house that doesn't have a visible um, uh, a visible security uh, system. Like a lot of people have security. Like I have a security system here. I live in an apartment building. And so we have a sticker on the front of our door that says, you know, uh, XYZ uh, uh, security system is here. That is a deterrent. Um, I'm looking for homes that, uh, that don't really look like much. I look for homes that looks like the front door can maybe be kicked in. Maybe the windows are outdated. Um, I'm looking for, I'm looking for signs of easy entry. That's what I'm looking for. When I see a house that looks like a fortress has a high iron fence, I see Edison home security sign in the front of it. I see that there are cameras out. I see that there are the motion lights out there. I'm not going to rob that house because that house is not going to listen. If a, if a burglar wants to rob your house, if they want to bad enough, they're going to do it. But they're not going to rob a house that is hard to rob. If there are two houses to rob, the burglar is going to go after the easier target. The same thing happens as far as these women go. If there are two, if there are two couples in front of a man, 
in some alternate universe, maybe it's a game show, hey, I want you to go up and, and, and try to steal one of these girls from either one of these men, he's not going to go after the girl who has the man who looks like he's masculine. He's not going after the girl whose man looks like he has his stuff together. He's not going after the girl whose man looks like he's about something. He's going after the girl whose man looks weak. He has weak posture, weak body language. Uh, maybe she led him into the restaurant. And dude, trust me, especially when you go to the club. Now, this happens at the club all the time. Dudes will hit on your girl, and I've seen this happen. Dudes will hit on your girl at the club right in front of you, but again, they have to see, and again, it's like they're bank robbers. They're casing out the joint. They're looking for the relationship, quote unquote relationship, that is the least, they're looking for the weakest male to hit on. If the girl leads him into the club instead of her following him, they're gonna go hit on that girl. They're gonna wait till the boyfriend goes to the bathroom, they're gonna try to steal that girl. If they see the guy buying her drinks, if they see the guy hovering around her, beta body language, they see that he puts her on a pedestal, acting like he's in love, this and that and the other, that guy knows Mr. Steal Your Girl is gonna go after that guy. If a girl, if, if, if he sees a couple walk into a club, the man is leading the woman. She's always looking at him. Now, well, of course, listen, if, if you have a good relationship with your girl, if you really are the captain of your ship, if you're territorial, you don't take a girl to the club in the first place. I think we all know that. But just for the sake of argument, when dudes are looking for girls casing houses to rob, if it were, they're looking for the point, uh, they're looking for the least resistant, right? The, le the, the least resistance. And at the end of the day, if people are hitting on your girl, if you're asking me this question, this means this probably happens to you a lot more often than you're willing to admit. And listen, I am accountable. I know you're, you know, I know, listen, you said you're not currently dating anyone, but you would not have asked this question if this hadn't happened to you. So my advice to you, well, the answer, answer your question, what do you do if another man is hitting on your girl? There's nothing, once it starts, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? You stop men from hitting on your girl in front of you before you get to the venue. Have yourself together, be in good shape, act masculine, have control of your woman. You lead her around. You make sure that she is in pocket. That's how that works. There's nothing you can do. Listen, you can't control anyone's behavior but your own. You can't control your girl's behavior. You can't control Mr. Steal your girl's behavior. All you can do is control your behavior. And if you are in control, strong body, strong body language, strong posture, strong eye contact, if you have the respect, the love, and adoration of your woman, she's not gonna entertain conversations from other men, whether she's in your presence or not. That's just the way that works. So the quick answer to your question is, hey, how do I stop? How do you deal with men? How do you deal with men hitting on your girl while you're with her and you guys are out? Well, that starts long before you're out. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.